and welcome back and in this video we are implementing retrofit so basically what is retrofit retrofit will basically help us communicate with the endpoint so you remember in the first in the second video what we did is that we um, set up the backend uh, using using ktor and that backend is basically going to expose some endpoints or web services that we are going to consume on the app side so uh, so basically uh, retrofit will help us with how we are going to communicate with that so to do that uh, what we are going to do is that we need to integrate retrofit so how are we going to do that so to integrate retrofit again you need to add a couple of AV dependencies so let's just add those so for retrofit we have these two dependencies that you can add so we'll just uh, it is in the GUI so make sure to add it as Kotlin now once you do that it will again complain that might be some updated version available so you can just change it to that and also it will ask you to replace it with the catalog version so you can just do that again and there is just one more thing for logging if you want uh, to log messages when using it you can also uh, use the interceptor for that and i'll tell you what exactly is interceptor uh, later in this video when we will implement one right so this is what we will be doing now once you do that you can just replace it with this and then sync it so after adding these dependencies uh, when you add the uh, dependency it will just sync it once that is done we will start working on our network section right so to implement the network section what you need to do is that you'll since you have this ui and this theme and these ford food app and things like that we create a new package so the package is going to be network okay this is simple network pack package and inside this network package what you can do or let's just do one more thing let's let's create over here over here and create a data package data package mean that this is basically going to be the place where we will be getting all this data and inside this data package let's create a module or a class and let's call it network network module okay so basically the network module is going to be an object for you okay make sure to set it as an object and once you do that this is basically where we will be using hilt along with the retrofit to set up a couple of things so the first thing that we need to do is that we need to set module this is going to be coming from dagger hilt so we'll add this and the second thing that we want to do is that we will be saying install in and inside that let's just use singleton component dot class something like this okay so this means that now uh, this network module is basically something that will help creating these uh, elements for us so the first thing that over here that we need to do is that we need to provide uh, a client for like a retrofit right so for networks uh, so for retrofit what we will do is that we'll create function and call it provide retrofit okay and uh, this retrofit means that this will basically create a retrofit instance for us using the builder pattern and uh, what exactly it does is that it takes this retrofit dot builder the base url is the url that you will be using and then it sets the json factory for this and uh, so since i am going to be using uh, an emulator to test all this so for that what i need to do is that i need to set a specific uh url that is being used i guess that is 10.0.0.2 or something like that but yeah it should be something like this along with the pa the uh, port that i'll be using 8080 okay so this means that now this is basically the base url that we have and then uh, our converter factory means that this will help us convert the responses into json uh, on how we want it and then in, at last it will be creating a build okay the next thing that we need to do is that we need a service so what again what i'll do is that i'll say provide and then i will say uh, yeah something like this uh, but this class is basically not yet available so what we need to do is that we'll get over here create a kotlin class make sure it's an interface and let's call it food api okay so once you do that this is basically going to be a api service for you and then this api service is going to define the annotation so let's say you have a, um, a get request for for food and then you you have like this something like this for now 
I'm not gonna uh, implement the exact uh, endpoint for this, but let's say you have something like this, okay? Uh, you you define this get, which means the annotation may the this is going to be the method, uh, the HTTP method that we'll be using. The food means that the endpoint that it will be trying to fetch, and then this get food is simple. This uh, suspend function that you are gonna use along with the list, okay? So that's something that we use but the important thing is the food api so we'll go back to the section and then you can see that we have this food api set and it is done so basically uh, this is how uh, we have done it now what we need to do is that we need to just use this retrofit uh, wherever we want for example if you want it somewhere over here all you need to do is that you can just call it late sorry call it as inject right and then call it late init war and uh, for this since i need uh, a food api so i'll just call it food api dot api now inside this on creator what i'll do is that i'll check if it's null uh, if it's not null so once this set content is done let's just so i'll get over here and uh, i'll say if food api dot is initialized mean that now basically there is something i'll just log this something like this maybe right uh, so which means that uh, now it will see that basically uh, we will test if the backend and like service is created also uh, we will test that the injection uh, that the health integration is also is it working or not so to test that what we will do is that we'll copy this go to our log cat and inside that log cat along with this we can just paste it over here like this okay so now it's running let's just go over here and then now over here you can see that it is initialized which means that the you know everything that we did is working so that was it for this video i'll see you in the next video so till then have a great day bye i hope you liked the video and if you did please like the video comment down below and share the video with your friends for similar content you can subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on instagram and if you have any queries you can join my discord server where we discuss different kind of things so thank you so much for watching the video. Have a great day. Bye.